Hi, I'm Tiffany. Today, I'm going to show you how to round with decimals. Rounding with decimals. When rounding with decimals, you need to make sure that you look at the space directly to the right of the place that is to be rounded. If the number to the right is 5 or more, meaning 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, then the place should increase by one digit, and all the other numbers after that place turn to zero. If the number to the right is 4 or less, meaning 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, then the place should remain the same number, and all numbers after that place turn to zero. Also, when you're dealing with decimals, you want to remember that any zeros that are at the end of a number that has a decimal can be dropped. I know all of that was a mouthful, so let me show you with some examples. When you're on your own, coming back and reading the notes here will help you because you'll only have to read it and it'll spark your memory of how you need to solve this. So let's jump into example number one. Example number one, round to the tenths place. So we have the number 10 and 7,498 ten thousandths. We need to round to the tenths place. So that means we need to find the tenths place with our answer. Don't forget, we're talking about the tenths place, not the tens place. If you see a THS at the end of a place value name, that is very important. Any number that any place value that ends with a THS at the end, you're going to be talking about the numbers that are to the right of the decimal. When you don't have that THS, you're talking about numbers that are to the left of the decimal. So we're dealing with the tenths place. The tenths place starts here. The very first number on the right of the decimal. So we're rounding to this position. If you remember the last slide that I was on, I explained that you check the number to the right, that means we're going to look at the 4 because it's directly to the right of the space that we're needing to round to. And if that number, this number, the 4, if it's 5 or more, the place where we're rounding to will increase by one digit. So the 7 would become an 8. But if the number to the right is 4 or less, the place where we are rounding to remains the same. So in this case, our number directly to the right is a 4. That means it is in the category of being 4 or less. So that means we're going to leave the 7 the same. But in addition to leaving the number the same, all of the numbers after it must turn into zeros. So I'm going to rewrite this, and it's going to look like this. 10. And remember our decimal is always spoken as and when we're reading a number. The 7 will remain the same and these will become 0. If you remember on the last slide however the very last asterisk that I pointed out was that when we're dealing with decimals any number that ends with zeros at the end those zeros can be dropped. So we could even write this answer again as 10 and 7 tenths. These two answers have the exact same value. These extra zeros give no value here. So our answer to example number one is 10 and 7 tenths. Let's move on to example number two. Example number two. Round to the nearest hundred thousandths place. Okay, first of all, this number looks enormous, okay? But does that really matter? Nope, it really doesn't. All we need to know is what our directions want us to do, they want us to round, and the place that they want us to round to is the hundred thousandths place. So, I know to the right of my decimal, I have the tenths place, then the hundredths place, then the thousandths place, ten thousandths, then the hundred thousandths. The three 
is in the position where we want our number to be rounded to. This should be the last number in our rounding. I just went through these place value names. If you are not familiar with place value names, check out my place value video. It goes over place value positions with a lot of detail. It'll help you out if you're not so sure what I'm doing when I'm giving the names of my place values here. Okay, remember the rule. We're going to check our number that is to the right of the place that we want to round to. In this case, we have a 4. Okay, our rules tell us that if the number to the right is 5 or more, this number, the place where we're rounding to, will increase by 1. Our number is 4 or less, so we leave the number the same and everything after it becomes a 0. So, all I need to do to write this answer is rewrite this entire number, leaving the 4 off. It would become a 0, so if you remember, I can just drop that because it is the very last number in my overall number. So, we will end with the answer of 405,781 and 5,600 23 hundred thousandths. Wow, that was a mouthful. This number may seem very long. Even if you're not the best at saying your numbers just yet, that's okay. When we're rounding, really all you need to be able to do is rewrite the number and know how the number should end. Let's move on to example number three. Example number three, round to the ten thousandths place. Okay, so let's see. This is the tenths, this is the hundredths, this is the thousandths, and this is the ten thousandths. So we are rounding to the place where the nine is. We need to look at the number to the right of the nine to help us determine what we're going to do. It is six. That means it is five or more, the 6 falls into the category of being a number that is 5 or more, so that means this 9 must increase. Now this is a slightly tricky one. If you increase 9 by 1, it goes to a 10. You cannot do that. You cannot write a 10 right in here and instead of writing the 9. So what you have to actually do is increase this whole double number here. This 89 will increase by 1 which will become 90. So your answer will actually look like this. 287 and 1790. Now, they want you to round to the 10 thousandths place, so they want you to have this position in here, okay? If they ask you to round to just the thousandths place, you would leave your answer uh, with only three digit places after the decimal. So this is important to leave the zero this time because you must have all of the places represented that they asked for in your answer. You can't just say, oh, well, it's the zero and they told us the rule that we could take the zero off. You don't do that this time. This time you want to leave it because you need to fulfill going to the ten thousandths place, even if it is going to be a zero. So, the answer to example number 3 is 287 and 1,790 ten thousandths. Let's move on to example number 4. Example number 4, round to the thousandths place. Okay, well let's figure out where our thousandths place is. 6 is in our tens place, then this is our hundredths place, here's our thousandths place. We have 4. We look to the number to our right to determine what we're going to do. It is in the category of being 4 or less. So that means this number stays the same. We can just rewrite everything else. So we're going to write 35 and 684. I do not need to write 
in anything else here because these numbers would turn to zeros and then ultimately I could drop the zeros off so instead of writing the zeros in and then rewriting it without the zeros I'm just not writing it this first time so the answer to example number four is 35 and 684 thousandths let's move on to example number five Example number five says round to the nearest hundredths place. You may have noticed that I had some of my examples just say round to some place and some I wrote round to the nearest um, and whatever the place. This is the exact same thing. I intentionally put both types of examples in just because some books show it with the nearest in, some books don't. I want to make sure you understand that really is the same thing. I did underline the nearest just to point out that it was there um, and I did not have it underlined when it wasn't there but they mean the exact same thing when we're rounding to any place you're going to the number that is nearest every time. So round to the nearest hundredths place. Let's find the hundredths place. This is our tens. This is our hundredths right here. We look at our number to the right. We have a 1. The 1 falls into the category of being 4 or less. That means you don't do anything to this number. That means I can rewrite this problem. But I do need to write my answer out to this place, even though I'm going to have zeros. And it's going to look like this. 6 and 0 hundredths. Or really, you could just call this number six. I'm going to add that this looks sort of like money, a lot like money, actually. So if you were to see this as a price in the grocery store, you would say, oh, it's six dollars. The, the price of that item costs six dollars. OK, and you probably wouldn't say and zero cents. You could. I mean, you could say that. But that's kind of what's going on here. That's why I said you could just call this answer 6. Because since there's 0 of this value of whatever position this is, the tenths and the hundredths place, you don't really need to say it. Okay? So you could just say, hey, that item costs $6. But you don't need to say. It's just kind of like a little extra to say. It costs $6 and 0 cents. If you say it costs $6, then they already knew it, it was 0 cents. You didn't have to say that. Okay, so the answer to example number five is six. Let's move on to example number six. Example number six. Round to the nearest hundred thousandths place. We got our tenths place, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and hundred thousandths. Look, it's right here on the end. It's the five. We're supposed to look to the number next to it. There's nothing there. That's the same thing as zero, y'all. Okay. Guess what? Zero falls in the category of being four or less. Whenever you have a number next to the place being considered that is four or less, you leave it alone. So the five is not going to change. Everything else in front of it is going to get rewritten. And then remember, everything after becomes a zero and gets dropped off. So guess what that means? This number is already done. This number is already written to the hundred thousandths place. So there's nothing to do to it. If you have a number that is written to the place that your directions ask you to round to, that number is already done. You don't have to do anything to it. I'm going to rewrite the number the way it originally came. So we have 4 and 85 hundred thousandths. 0, 0, 0, 8. That's our last example. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, then head over to supereasymath.com for more math tutorials, printable video notes, worksheets, and more.